Hello everybody again, welcome. It's number three, right? So you want a crypto? I'm Joe, where the more you crypto, the more you know. We are doing our little case study comparison of Over the Reality and Spheroid Universe. Today we're gonna build, build on both platforms. Today it's gonna start, I guess, with Spheroid since we started with Over the Reality last time. And I'm gonna put the same experience on both uh, Hexagon and a sphere at space at the same geophysical location. And then I'm the next video, I'm gonna take their apps and go look at them. At least that's the plan. All right, uh, kind of the rules of engagement on this, I'm gonna, since 30 megabytes is the limit for spheroid and 100 megabytes is the limit for over the reality, I'm going to pick 20 as my max. So I picked an experience that was like 19 point something that was cool. And it's got an animation, so that way I could see how an animated, you know, something with an animation. It's just got a video in a TV, but, you know, it's cool. I liked it. That's what we're going with. And then also in the last video, I think I forgot to mention, and someone pointed out in the comments that I didn't say you could buy OVR with credit card. But on the website, you either need the credit card or over token. And then for Spheroid, you can basically use almost any crypto right on their marketplace. That being said, let's start building. So here I am on Spheroid Universe. And to get there, I went to the homepage, I scrolled all the way down to this XR advertising, place content in XR. Because there's a tab on the top here to go to the marketplace, but not one to place content. So it took me a second to figure out how to get here. Just saying, if you, you, know, if you get lost, that's, that's what happened to me. All right, so once I figured this out and I got to here, it's got a bunch of these, click on here to expand your business, place ads, showcase your art, exhibit NFT in XR, post your congratulations, host an event, make some noise, create an experience or create a challenge. And basically when you, let's see what happens. I think it all takes you to the same place. Yeah, so it, it takes you to the create XR post. You can only go to the spheroid metaverse right here. Uh, there's also the color of the sky coming soon. It looks like it'll be like a voxel, pixel voxel, graf sky writing graffiti thing. And then the planet of Nostra, which is pretty cool. It's like the, the AR aliens take over the world game. But today we want to build. This is where we're building. This land right here. A lot of times it'll show up and this will be what you see, the dark mode but it does have satellite mode right here. And I like that so that I can look right with Google, Google Earth. And this is a contoured version too when you get in here. So let's click on this one. All right, so sometimes this happens. So what you gotta do is basically just uh, close this, oops, and then refresh. click on it again. So you are about to create XR post at selected space, confirm, engage. All right, so these are some of the experiences that come with it. A couple, I added these, the go-go dancer, the gumball machine that was from uh, the post alley NFT Seattle takeover thing. But let's go down, so here we go, matrix white room. This is 19 and a half megabytes. I figured that right in the parameter set. We're gonna, we'll let it load, I guess, or whatever, but you're going to import this. Let's just import it. And I'm not sure what it's doing at your house, but it's snowing at mine. So if you like the snow, which I do, then uh, we're getting it. Okay, so we'll, we'll let this breathe for a second while it loads. There we go. And... See the contoured part that I'm talking about? You can see the valleys where the river runs through in the background. And here is that round circle that we saw before. And I'm using the, the left button to move. And then the right one, you can grab and move your center, basically. And then the wheel scrolls in and out. So now what I want to do is I want to right click on the exhibit. Okay, let's get this thing. And you'll get position, rotation, scale. 
But if you just click more, it gives you this sidebar. And I like this, because now we have the position. And if you click on the position, let's say like Z, now all you do is just left click it and it only moves on Z axis. You can do that with any of the others. You can do that with rotation, scale. You can make it bigger. Let's make it two. Maybe one and a half. There we go. And then we come down here to animation. And we want to make sure, let's see, you can have none. But we want it on. So we'll turn the animation on. And we can go ahead and play it. See, there it is right there in the background. Give it a second, it kind of goes in and out. And it's the chair scene from The Matrix. And I got this on Sketchfab. It was free. You can use it. We're using it for educational purposes. And I'll, I'll cite the, the stuff in the description. But that's it. So we'll go ahead and close this. We'll wheel out. Now, you can also see, and I want to say that it was either under position. No, it's under the more. Oh, right here. Show view distance. Watch. So if you click this on, and then you zoom out, this is what you can see from the hexagon. Inside this, I don't know if you can see the white lines here around. So with OVR, you can put stuff outside of your hexagon, and I'll show you that in a second. But here, it shows you how far you can see. Because when you build in like the over the reality, I put stuff outside my hexagon all the time, so it's like a distance item. This shows you how far the horizon can go. And then depending on the size, scale, it all adjusts. So as far as building, this I really like, because now I, I know which direction I want to face things, and I have a general perspective of what's in the area, where the people will go, and I can really position this the first time really well. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and publish. And we'll do standard and allow others to do stuff and choose my dates, I'll do unlimited. And that's gonna be my, my spot, that's me. I don't, I'm not renting it so it's free to me and I'm gonna publish. Boom, there we go. Let's do over the reality. So we're going to go to the overthereality.ai homepage. We're going to find right here Web Builder. And that's going to bring us right here to the Web Builder projects. These are my projects. You know, this is all mostly the NFT Seattle stuff. So I'm going to click New Project. And they have the option of an OVR Gallery, OVR Showroom, OVR Store. So if you want to... And these are just the frames, the, the rest of it you'll have to put in yourself, but they have a lot better uh, setup for right here. If you go to elements, group things, model, but you can ha add a POOP dispenser. So if you're doing POOPs, you just put the POOP dispenser in and then you drop the codes uh, right here. So here's your list of URLs, just copy and paste them right in here. If you have an animation, you can, or this one has an animation, you can turn on or off the teleport animation. But you can also put in like link collider boxes, drag and drop, and then you just drop it, you know, walkable, clickable, and then drop your URL. If you wanna have a picture and then have it take you to your homepage, that's where you'd click it. Uh, and you have my assets, and I have a lot of stuff in here, I've done a lot in, in here. But I've already downloaded what we want. So I'm going to put that right here in the middle, and I'm going to get rid of these others. And we'll let this guy load in. And I did 1.6 for size in the spheroid. So I'm going to do that in here when it comes up. But you can see the viewport is just the gray background. I don't... Uh, particularly care for it because I can't tell which direction it's going to be facing in. So here we go. We're going to click on our item. Scale. I'm going to go 1.6. So we are we are the same scale. And then loop animation. I'm going to go with the animation, which you'll do here in this loop animation drop down. And then we'll have collidable, walkable, cast shadow. These are all your other options that you want to deal with. And um, some files may have more or less options. The file size should be good. Now, I, we're not going to be able to see the animation in here until we post. But as far as the other web builder assets that we have in here, we have OVR 
assets. And inside of this, there's a whole bunch of different things. Look, you have flowers and eggs, and they're trying to add it and make it easy for you to build your own experience. So I, I do give them props on the web builder. They've put some time into this. There's an architecture kit. Like other than, you know, the, uh, the Google maps thing, which I hear is coming soon. It's one of my only real complaints. Uh, tons of walls and free assets here. They got a rock kit. You can also go to Sketchfab and just, we probably could have just downloaded this by signing into Sketchfab here and just bringing it over. They also have a 3DM asset. You can do, your NFTs are linked through your wallet. So I should probably be able to put my NFTs in here. Yeah, see here's a whole bunch of NFTs. But that's not what we're doing today. So that's it. Now what we would need to do though is find our land. So this is where I'm going to go to the marketplace real quick. This is how I've been doing it. It just seems easier for me. And I want to look at the hexagon as I'm posting. So now that I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and just go to in the primary market. That's usually where I do this is I'll go to Spokane. That's where this park is. And there's that circle. And we'll go ahead and put this one I guess, well, where's our spheroid one at? We'll try to put them as close as possible. So this experience is right here at the, basically the top of the circle. So let's just put it right here. And this will be our land. Copy this. Go over here. And now we're going to want to publish this scene. So let's go to publish. We'll call this the matrix room. We're going to save it as a project. Then it'll give us, uh, should give us another prompt. Attributions. The common factor was the attribution from Sketchfab and then we'll do sure why not we'll allow OVR to promote my scene and we'll save and publish now we got to find the land you could do this in your workspace but I'm going to do on a land so I just copied it from before, so now we'll search. We found our land, we'll hit OK. It tells us that we have high unique material, but it, it should work. This should be work. The file size is usually what really kills it. And this is pretty small, publish. So much more utility, I guess, in this web builder for over the reality. They also have the Unity. Uh, so if you're doing Unity and stuff like that, you have another web builder right here. So let's go. So you have the Unity SDK. And there's some documentation for that. You can also um, get an API. If So if you have a land, and you somebody has unity and you want to let them use your land you can give them an api that expires for the unity and it'll put it on the land for you i've done that in the past but as a comparison there you go uh stick around for the next video we'll look at these live and see how it goes all right remember the more you crypto the more you know i'm joe thanks uh you can check me out thursdays 9 a.m at soyo crypto on twitter spaces if you want to talk to me live that's a good way to do it. If you got questions that I just don't answer or you feel like you're being ignored here on YouTube, swing by. There's a great group of people. 
lots of cool over the reality community members and hopefully we'd like to add some spheroid universe community members as well uh if anybody knows a good spheroid universe twitter space uh send me some links i want to come talk with you guys all right cheers